Now that we've discussed speed, our next topic is to talk about the center of gravity. A ship is made up of many different parts, each with their own composition, density, and weight. So in our example here, we have a ship and we can say that there's a steel plate here and that steel plate is contributing a force, so the weight of the steel plate. We can also say that you know in the midship region of our ship we probably have a diesel engine. We can also say that there, there's a uh, propeller back here and it's contributing its own weight. And of course you can see that we can just keep labeling weights and it's just going to look ridiculous. And we can simplify this by having one point called the center of gravity where there's only one force that simulates all of the weight of the ship and it's acting at one point. In a typical ship, you would expect the center of gravity to be slightly aft because that's where the heavy engines are located, a lot of heavy structure, fuels, and other liquids, etc. This is done intentionally so that the center of gravity lines up with an ideal spot of the ship's hull, and thus it lies near the center of buoyancy and center of flo uh, flotation, which you'll see later on. You would also expect the center of gravity to be relatively low so that the ship is not top heavy. Center of gravity is constantly changing because people are moving about, tanks are being drained and filled, uh, fuel is being consumed, liquids, cargo, and ballast are being moved or shifting about due to the ship's action on the water. And the center of gravity is also located by uh, longitudinal, vertical, and transverse distances from the reference point. Remember for our uh, competition, the reference point is located at the intersection of the forward perpendicular, which is going to be this line for our competition, and then also at the intersection of the baseline, which is going to be this line right here. And then the center of gravity is just a little red ball, and we already have it located uh, longitudinally in this picture, and the VCG would be, you know, this distance right here. And then of course in this diagram it's a little bit difficult to show the transverse direction, but those three points will allow you to locate the three-dimensional point of the center of gravity. And that's just a quick overview of the center of gravity.